my channel, Sweet Pink Home. I'm Elizabeth, and thanks so much for joining me. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about how I learned to start loving myself. Now, I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Um, I have recently learned to really love myself. And the reason that this is so powerful to me is because it helped me improve uh, my low self-esteem, my confidence, and validation that I felt that I needed from others to be validated. Um, the reason this came to light is just a little backstory. My brother passed away in June of 2018, and after he passed away, there were tons of wonderful stories about my brother and how good of a person he was. Now, that being said, it kind of made me look inward, and I thought, well, what if I passed away? What would people start saying about me? Now, I know I just said that um, what's powerful about it is improving your low self-esteem, your confidence, and your validation about others. But really, I got to thinking about it. Not that the validation of others really matter, but if I passed away, what would people start to think? And I realized what I was telling myself inside internally was that I didn't really like myself. I didn't like the person I'd become, especially after my brother passed away. And so guys, today I wanted to share with you the steps that I took to improve my self-love for myself. And so basically, the first one, number one, is I just accepted myself for who I was. I got real with myself and I was like, look, this is the way you are. You have these flaws about you, but that's what makes you unique. Because if we were all the same, life on earth would be boring with the humans that look the same, act the same, talk the same, dress the same, it would just be boring. So that is my number one tip, is just accept yourself for who you are, and you'll learn to love yourself. My number two is um, I started to kind of go back to basics. And what I mean by that is, um, especially after my brother passed away, we looked at like his baby books and the stuff he created in school and the adult that he became and it kind of took me back because I got to thinking well it's no wonder they turned out so good because he always was a good human he was always happy-go-lucky and kind of doing things that um, people normally didn't have the risk to do and so when he grew up he became an entrepreneur and became extremely wealthy in ways that you know he kind of took a different road than everybody else and so what I mean by back to basics is kind of look at yourself back in the day when you were itty bitty um, when you were little and you had no cares in the world nothing really mattered nobody's opinion mattered about yourself you just were born with confidence to love yourself and you can kind of see those traits that make you unique as a person and I know for me especially I was extremely creative as a child, I was constantly creating things out of nothing, literally. Um, I would make stuff like my brother would bring nachos home and I would create um, like little baskets and put cotton balls in it for the bathroom. Now I said, I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but it's true. No pun intended, cheesy nachos, haha. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, my point being is that one thing I really enjoyed was being creative. And so I kind of went back to basics and kind of put that back into my life as far as creativity goes. And so the other thing, number um, three, is look at the traits that you like about yourself and write them down. And look at the traits that you dislike about yourself and write them down. And I think once those traits that you like go up and the traits that you like go down, you'll start to really like yourself because you'll find that there's a lot of stuff that you really dislike about yourself and that you want to change. And so one of those ways that I did it was um, I wrote down a list of traits that I liked about myself and traits that I didn't like about myself. And I started looking at other people that I admired. And I thought, what about those people do I enjoy and I want to be Come more like because those traits make them wonderful people. Um, for example, one of the people that I look for is um, Rachel Hollis. 
she is a motivational speaker and she doesn't necessarily have her life put together per se, but she's pretty successful in the area of motivational speaking and just all around good self-esteem, loving herself and that sort of thing. And so I started to look at the traits that made her who she is today and kind of put those in play in my own life. And so, so finally guys, it brings me to point number four and that is, is self-talk. Now, I have talked about this before on my Instagram one time about how self-talk is amazing. It changes the way you see yourself. It's very, very powerful. Um, if you find yourself <clears throat> talking to yourself and like, let's say you put this shirt on per se and you're like, oh my God, look at this. So bumpy, it's a horrible outfit, you know, you start to down, sat, downplay yourself, you're not going to feel good about yourself. That's the truth of the matter. And so um, self-talk is really, really, really important. And um, one thing that really drives this home, I know this sounds weird, but um, it's Michael Jackson's, the song Man in the Mirror. I don't know if you've heard that song. I'm sure that you have because it's a pretty famous song. But he talks about looking inward and saying, okay, I need to make this change inward. And one of those ways is self-talk. Be really conscious about how you talk to yourself. It really makes a huge difference. Huge. It did in my life about loving myself. And so if you need a song to motivate you, check out Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. And it will just, it will definitely make you more aware of how you talk about yourself. And you just, you want to make a change in this world. Change yourself first and look inward and love yourself first. That's the point to the song. And that's the point to this video, you guys. Is that you just really need to learn to love yourself in order to become the best version of yourself. You need to treat yourself with love and respect and just be good to yourself guys and so um that is how i love myself if you want to make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this video and hit the bell so you get a notification when i do videos i do videos every tuesdays and thursdays tuesdays mainly about mom life and intentional living and thursdays about fashion because it's something that brings me joy and it's something that i really love to do so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your favorite tip is, or if you just have um, a tip of your own on like how you learn to love yourself. And if you're not at the stage where you love yourself, um, comment down below like what you could possibly change to take that step forward to love yourself. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I will see you on Thursday um, for a fashion video. And have a great, wonderful Tuesday.